Hi guys, and welcome to Staunton Country Park. It's uh, one of those places that I've been to once before, a long, long long time ago uh, I did a video and the communication we got back then it was there but it was rather faint even with headphones it was difficult to hear so uh, I thought I'd come back here today and uh, do another one but this video is going to be done now over the course of a couple of days and the reason for that is because the site has changed a heck of a lot and uh, because of that I've got more ground to cover and where it's got more popular there's a lot more people around as well so um, I have to be a bit wary about where I'm doing videos and with what spare box I'm doing videos with but uh, I'll just show you these because someone's got an awful lot of skill in the carving out these trees as you can see there it's hollow there and you come around this side and you've got the, the carving there but uh, for all those who like Lord of the Rings you'll probably recognize who this guy is straight away standing proud tree beard Okay, so here's the arches. This will have been the arches that uh, led up to the house because down the other end you've got a doorway which goes presumably up into the house. Just look at this flooring now, look. Look at the patting on the flooring. Right, uh, I'm going to come down here. A bit later on, my, um, my wife, she's going to have a go with um, the VB2 app. Um, I should say the VB2 Pro app. But uh, I just wanted to show you this part down here because this is where, I believe, you would have got through to the house. Once again, you've got nice patting on the floor. Um, just up there, uh, someone's put in uh, Elliot 97. As you can see, it's still off now, so no one's going to get in there now. But uh, I work in this tunnel, I used to go right through to the house. Anyway, I'm going to do um, a spare box session, I'm going to be using the Roberts and uh, we'll see what we can get here. Okay, so we're in that little alcove that I thought went through to the house, right down the very end. Um, I've got the EMF gauge going. Uh, the EMF gauge is uh, from a new app from VBE. It's the Master Suite 2. Um, it only says trifold meter. It's not a trifold meter. It's just the gauge that's used on a trifold meter. And basically, I got it on that because if any spirits do want to come down here and use it, they can. And if they're too weak to actually make the EMF side of things work on the gauges on the top, they will pick it up on the trifold meter part. The spirit box is the Roberts R9921. And I'm just going to start that one now. My name is Richard. What's your name? Do you remember me? Out 
down here the other day. And uh, it's rather busy. And you didn't really manage to get too much done uh, because it was really busy. But if you want to come and speak to me with that, please feel free. So for any spirits who can come to hear my voice, can you please make yourself known by saying the word hello? Easier because there's no. more energy around. No. So are there any lines or convergence here? You know what I mean by okay. lines of convergence? The lines of energy. And we're looking for the crosslines. So are there any lines of convergence across here? Speak to me someplace else. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I'm going to go someplace else. If you wish to come with me, please do so. And uh, if you touch me anywhere else, where I'll go. Down by the lake, the sun bowl, wherever. Are you willing to speak to me again? Okay, well, I'm going to close the system down now. Yeah? So I'm counting down from five. Perhaps you'd like to count down with me. So here we are approaching where the house would have been and uh, I'm not going to do anything here of course my wife wants to do a little session up here she'll be using the VB2 Pro ghost box app that you can get on a mobile phone uh, when you see her video she's going to be commenting on the rooms and what part of the house is what part how do we know what the rooms were this is pretty much like Titchford Abbey where as you can see here it's all lined out and certainly where the house will have been and as we go around you get the little markers up here just telling you what different parts were like just here so you've got the boot room um, coming over here see if I can find another label for you there we go servant hall and little bells as well so um like i said when anita comes around here later on she'll be doing her bb2 pro ghost box session around here so i'm not going to steal her thunder i'm just going to show you the layout so you know what she's talking about when she's doing hers these railings they were here the last time i come here and uh it basically takes you out to the front of the house and down to the uh, the garden area which uh, also includes a lake We've got the dining room just here and just the other side of these railings we've got the lake and the garden area so we're going to be going down there See if we can get onto Ireland later on. Uh, probably have a look to see what that is over there as well. But uh, like I said, Anita's doing this part around here, so uh, we'll let her crack on. Um, I was just wondering if there's any spirits here today with me who would like to join me. used to be the manor house and I'm standing outside the billiard room. Can you tell me anything about the billiard room please? Is there anyone here with me today that used to live or work in the manor house? I'm 
walking over the ground that's marked out that used to be the manor house I'm not sure if it's the first one or the second one but I am just by the butler's pantry is there any butlers here with me today that would like to tell me something about the goings on in house how many bedrooms did the house have? This staircase, the stone staircase that goes down towards the lake, can you tell me a thing about it? steps of the house and underneath there is like um, archways what were the archways used for was it more of the house that used to be have entrances or because there's a dark entrance on the right hand side and it looked like it used to lead somewhere did it used to lead to the cellar <laughs> entranceway what I told you about on the right hand side it's like an archway that used to probably lead inside the house I was just wondering was it a goods entrance or kitchen entrance cellar is there anyone that can tell me more about it Is there anyone here with me today that can tell me about the house in general, the first house? Who owned the first house? <laughs> I can imagine in its day when the house was sort of like normal running household. I can imagine that it used to be very busy and beautiful. Did you have any well-known or famous guests that stayed at the house? Is there anything you can tell me about it? It used to be rumoured that there used to be a lady that used to be seen walking across it and she was dressed in a white gown. Can you tell me anything about it? What was her name? There's a little building with a little tower and it's like a, a what was it, I suppose, hexagon shape and it's sort of like to the left of the house as you're looking down towards the lake. Can you tell me what it is and what it was used for please? <laughs> Did it have 
a purpose. I'm walking back up towards the main house. There's no thing you can tell me what went on in the main house. Um, either the first or the second one. Anything that maybe no one else would know. What was it like, day to day living? in the manor house. It was a big estate and you had a lot to manage. Is there anyone here that used to work the grounds? Is there anyone here that would like to say hello to me? My name's Anita. Can you say it please? Can you tell me about something, an item that was very expensive, that was very popular, that might have been in any of the rooms in the house? Is there anything in particular that comes to mind? Who was the most important person in the house? Did the the lord or the lady of the manor have any pets? Did they have any dogs? What were their names? <laughs> children. Is there anyone here that used to work in the house, the first or the second house, that would like to tell me their names? Is there anything you'd like to tell me about yourself? Do you mind me being here today talking to you? What was the little island in the middle of the lake? What was it built for? How much land did the Lord and Lady of the Manor actually own? How much land? <laughs> Can you tell me about anything of the rooms that used to be here? I mean, we've, we've talked about the billiard room. Um, where was the main lounge or the day room, whatever? Um, you've got a room called the morning room. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> Oh, 
What date was the first house erected? What about the second house? What date was that erected? Do you know? My name's Anita. Can you tell me your name, please? The house, the second house that was built, it was quite a large house and it had many rooms. Can you tell me about anything, any one room in particular that sort of like catches your attention? Is there any secrets of the house that you'd like to share with me? I'm standing inside the morning room now. What was the morning room used for? Can you tell me anything about the Grand Hall? I'm standing in the butler's pantry. Can you tell me anything that went on in the butler's pantry? I'm walking down towards the lake on either side and all around the houses lots of exotic trees and plants who is a gardener I have a dog with me today, it's a little Jack Russell. His name's Leo. Can you say Leo? How much has the house changed today from what it used to be? Can you tell me about anything about the lake? Why was it built? What about the little island in the middle? Is there anyone here that would like to say their name and say hello? I'm 
going to go and say goodbye now because there's quite a lot of people around today and it's quite busy. Um, I might be back again another day. Would you be willing to have a chat then? Thank you for joining me today and talking. I will be back again soon. Thank you again. Bye bye. So here's the bridge, and uh, it's quite a walk actually, coming down from the top and around the lake. But uh, yeah, I'm just about going to the island now. It looks deserted now, I don't think there's anybody on here. Just a nice view as you're going over. Now, like I said, my wife has been using the BB2 Pro. So, uh, I ought to uh, do something a little bit different. Use a different approach. Now, one of the uh, apps I seem to go to a lot of interest last year is the Signal Spirit Communication app and that is the one I'm going to be using so without further ado I'm going to click on and uh, open it up, set it up and uh, away you go okay so we're now on the island pretty close to where the bridge is and this is the Master Suite 2 app it's a new one from BBE uh, as you can see, I've been using the app on that setting. But um, I just wanted to show you that it does actually work because we're in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Just the middle of an island that's filled with trees and surrounded by a lake. This island has been known to have the spare of a lady in white appear here. Now this um, app also, I should say, before doing a little more, it does have the added ability where you don't have to calibrate it every time you use it. You calibrate it in an EMF free zone. So the calibrations that are at the top there, the 162.58 for EMF and the 3.45 for vibration, that's all calibrated in an EMF free zone. So basically, it's got its baselines always set up when you turn the device on. Right, as I turn around here, right, okay, so we've got no EMF here. I might come down here. I mean, notice earlier on that we're getting an EMF hit down here. Yeah, there you go. Just one little tiny light come up there. Keep watching the lights at the top. Let's flash him. There you go. So there's something around here that's causing an EMF fluctuation. And I'm not sure what it is. I come down here when I first notice it and we had two lights light up. Just try and see if I can get two lights to light up again. This is in the same spot. quite sure what's causing this actually. Uh, there's no power cables I can see. There might be some power cables under the water. I don't know. I'm just going to have a wander down this way. There's a lot more, a lot better earlier on. There you go, you see it's still there. 
So this, this is an EVP session on the island at Staunton Country Park. Hi Spirits, my name is Richard. Can you tell me please how many of you are here? If you're willing to speak to me, can you tell me your name, please? Just for ver verification, please can you tell me the name of the reigning monarch of Great Britain? Please, what keeps you here? What's the, what keeps you here? It's often been said that there's a lady in white that is quite frequently seen around this island. And we've been having some unusual EMF activity that I can't see any reason for. Is that you? Is that the lady in white that's doing that? Are you a resident spirit here or are you just passing through? What can you tell me about this area? How did you die? I have a person standing next to me. Is that person a boy or a girl? Find these methods of talking to you easy or hard. Are you aware of who the reigning, the uh, current Prime Minister is of Great Britain? If so, perhaps you can tell me his name. Was the Prime Minister of Britain when you were alive? If you're the lady in white, or you know of the lady in white, can you tell me what her name is, please? Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to shut the system down now. On the count of five. Obviously, uh, being an EVP, I cannot hear if you said anything, but I thank you for your efforts. And I hope that you'll speak to us some other time. But for now, I'm going to count down from five. Five. Four, join in if you want to. Three, two, 
one. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. That's uh, the EVP session. That's how it works on the VB2 Ghostbox Pro. Comes in really handy. You've also got the instant playback if you want to. Or you can just open up the files. It's there. You can see that there. Off and I'm going to go home and analyse all this and see if we've got anything. See you later.